it's Nick from Nick's Hobby Corner and today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Let's get started. So, first things first, we've got to clear out most of the existing interior. One part where I get to cut off parts and have them shooting all over my house. It is a pretty satisfying step though, that's for sure. Alright, now that we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and get our hobby foam out as well as our 3D printed Jeffries Biscuit Tuck Interior Stamp. I'll have a link below for the Biscuit Tuck stamp as well as an Amazon affiliate link with a multi-pack of this foam. Uh, you can also find this foam at stores local to you like Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Once we've got some pieces to work with, I start creating templates on cardstock paper. I find this method to be good so you don't end up wasting too much foam by trying to trial and error fitting things. I'm using CA glue to get the pieces in. I like this glue for this kind of thing because it dries slower than super glue so you have time to move things around a bit if you need to. I decided to make this wraparound piece to shape our front seat area. We're going to eliminate the back seat and make this car a two-seater.
creating this accent piece for the back of the curved area, I get out this roll of gold nylon string to help accent the gold on the paint and wheels. I also got this combo pack of nylon string off of Amazon. I believe it came with 10 different colors. Rather than putting the CA glue directly on the pieces like I did for the foam, I actually use a small piece of foam as a paintbrush and brush the glue on a bit more thin for the string. If you put the string on a puddle of the glue, it tends to soak it up and form a dark spot. I wanted to go ahead and level this back seat out. I spent quite a while grinding it by hand with a file before I remembered that I had this stone grinding thing for my drill. That definitely made things a lot faster. rear accent piece and the trim piece above the curve, this thing is really starting to take some shape. While trying to figure out how I could close in the edges, I decided I would take a strip of non-stamped foam, heat it up, and then roll it with a pen in order to flatten it out a bit. This would help it keep a nice low profile and also allow it to be folded over easier to flow downward with the door panels.
As you can see, I also cut slits into it to give it some texture, but for some weird reason, that doesn't really show up at all in the final product. This being my first biscuit tuck interior, I figured I would go pretty simple on the dash with a mix of stamped foam and some non-stamped foam. middle I wanted to have a nice downward sweeping waterfall piece coming over the center console to try to give it all a bit more flow and tie the interior together rather than making the dash look like it was its own area. I got these four steering wheels from Mad Scale Model Designs. They all look pretty good. I'm gonna use the circle chain steering wheel for this build. Uh, I also have a future project in mind for that heart chain steering wheel.
really love this nylon string. I feel like the gold brings this build to a whole new level and gives it a ton more interest. For the seats, I'm going to do a pretty basic seat design with a rounded top and bottom. I attempted to do more of a traditional old school or at a wrap around swivel seat and it didn't really go well, so I'll have to keep practicing on those.
right, now it's time to cut into the dash and go digging for gold, or at least to glue in the steering wheel. seats glued in, I decided to create a final accent piece coming down from the rear area back over the center console area. I just kind of freestyled cut this design until I had a shape that I liked. And that's the final presentation. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. If you got anything out of this video, consider hitting that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up, and leave it a comment so that I know that you're here. Thanks a bunch for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.